This is a tutorial for Trimble Site Vision. For more information on this product, visit sitevision.trimble.com or contact your local dealer. Hello, and welcome to another Trimble Site Vision tutorial. In this segment, we'll be going through connecting your phone to the Site Vision bracket and measuring camera offsets. Now that you have connected the mounting plate to your phone, you are now ready for the next steps of the hardware setup process. This involves securely mounting your phone to the Site Vision unit and calibrating your camera to work with the Catalyst GNSS receiver. This is the second of two hardware setup videos for Sight Vision. If you haven't watched the previous one, look for the video titled Hardware Setup, Unboxing and Phone Mounts. Setting up the unit consists of a few steps. First, use the included charger and cable to charge both batteries before use. A full charge may take up to six hours. After this, Remove the battery cap at the bottom of the unit by twisting it counterclockwise. Then insert the included battery into the bottom of the handle using the negative or flat end. First, replace the battery cap by twisting it in the opposite direction. While doing this, you may also want to attach the included wrist strap to the sight vision unit. Take your wrist strap and thread the thin loop of string through the attachment post on the battery cap. Open up the loop, then pass the wrist strap handle through it. Pull the wrist strap away from the unit to fasten it securely. Use the included cable to connect the phone to the antenna and EDM unit. On the cable itself, one of the connecting ends has a set of two rubber gaskets. This end needs to be plugged into the unit as it seals the connection from dust and water. Next, mount your phone onto the sight vision unit by pushing the locking lever fully upward to unlock the mounting point. Place your phone onto the unit by aligning the mounting plate to the mounting point and make sure that your phone's USB-C socket is on your left. Once the phone has been mounted, lock the phone to the unit by pushing the locking lever fully downwards. Finally, plug the USB-C cable into your phone. When plugging the Sight Vision unit into the phone, you will get a message asking if you would like the Tremble Catalyst service to access a USB accessory. You will then notice two icons appear on the upper left corner of your screen. The satellite icon shows your connectivity status and your current level of accuracy, while the compass icon shows your orientation precision. To ensure that models in sight vision are positioned accurately, the app needs to know how far the phone's camera is from the catalyst antenna in the X, Y, and Z axes. To do this, the offsets on each axis will need to be measured. Trimble has already completed this process for certain devices, so consult your unit's included documentation for the full list of supported devices. If you are using one of these devices, you can skip the rest of this video and continue using Sight Vision. If your device isn't supported, however, you will need to carry out the calibration process yourself. To do this, you will need to use a ruler or measuring tape and have your phone securely mounted on the Sight Vision bracket. For phones with multiple camera units, take your measurements to the main viewing camera or the camera your phone uses at its widest zoom setting. You can test this by opening Sight Vision and covering each camera unit until you find the one that blocks the main viewing screen. Once you've found the main camera, take the following measurements. For the x-axis, measure the distance from the center of your phone's camera to the middle of the Sight Vision bracket. For the y-axis, Measure the distance from the center of the mounting plate slot to the top rim on the side of the antenna. For the z-axis, measure the thickness of your phone's case, then divide that value in half. Once you have all of these values recorded, save them into the Sight Vision app. Tap the menu icon on the lower left corner, select Tools, then select Configuration. When the Configuration menu is open, tap the Advanced icon in the lower right corner of the window. In the Setup category, you can now enter the X, Y, and Z values of your camera offsets into these text boxes here. 